Hello guys, if you like my awesome gaming videos, my programming and web development courses, my editing courses and editing videos, and my tech talks and tech guidance, then you can consider subscribing to my channel and click on this bell icon to stay connected with me all the time. So in this particular video, I'm totally going to focus on uh, how we can fetch all those data in the admin index page. Okay, so we're going to have to fetch data into a step. So remember that this is only admin index page. This is not users. Okay, this is admin index page. Let's open up our application. So this is our application in the previous video. If you didn't watch it, must watch it. It is very important. I talked about relations or database relations, the templating and the migrations and database integrations and controllers and models, every single thing that you need to know. And I also created a route.get function and it shows us admin projects.create. If you go to that route, it will give us a create route and, and the post route where you're gonna store all this information in the database, okay? So we just open our server now and we're gonna do our next step. So let's do it. So first you need to write php artisan serve, okay, to open up our server. So our development server is open. So you can just copy this thing and paste here it admin dot project slash create so this is the page that we have if you go to the admin projects create it will give us this form okay so that's pretty beautiful and then we need to work with our index page so so this is the page we worked before so this is the create page is the form and then we need to work with the index page okay so you can copy everything from here let me copy everything and just copy this and paste it here because we want the uh, CDN for the bootstrap because we need to add a bootstrap class here and the URL of app.css if we have added any CSS from here. Okay, so this part is super important. So copy this everything from here and this should be the index page of admin where we'll have our data and in the table data table will show all the information that we have uploaded in the database and those informations are here as you can see if you go to the youtube laravel projects db as you can see we have all the information like projects we have all the information of the project like its title description thumbnail github link youtube link skills everything that we need we're going to parse all those information from the database to in this particular video okay so this is our next part so here we can write it this is just an index page just name it index this is index and then keep it the h1 tag and hr tag and we're going to go to bootstrap go to bootstrap here we're going to go to get bootstrap get it started and in the content as you can see in the content if you go to the content you have a table in the bootstrap so we're going to get any table suppose this table i want and copy this thing and i just need to paste it inside the div so delete all of those things we just need a heading tag for index page and the hr rule and we're going to paste the table as you can see and table have table heading and table body okay and each table body has a row okay and it has a table heading and table disc, uh, description all of those things you know the normal basic html and here we need to pass the id and the information that we have from the database and we're going to see everything from here let me close it out and we're going to check our database first we have title description thumbnail github link youtube link and skills and all of every of this thing so let me write it like this way because it is more cool so if you have a bigger screen it the web development is super easy guys it's super easy so first we'll have our id then we have a title description and then we have our description here and you have to copy this thing multiple times because it is pretty big then we have thumbnail okay it should be github and then we have our youtube link youtube link github link and then we can see that we have skills and created and updated it created at and updated it and this is for updated it so 
So all the field that in, we have in the database, we can show it here. Okay. So later we will add two more features, two more table heading because we need to add edit and delete functionality as well. Okay. So in this particular video, I'm just working on this field, just get all the fields here. So it's perfect. We don't need all those rows. We don't need three rows. One row would be perfect. You can delete all of them. Just keep one table row. Okay. So this is the one table row that we need because we're going to use the for loop. Okay. So save it. So here you can just copy this thing multiple times. Paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it. So just check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we need two more, eight and nine. It's perfect. Okay. So all of our data will be coming from the database. So we need to go to our admin projects controller and we need to go to our index page. Okay. So our index page, we need to work with our projects. So let me create projects and we need to go to each particular project from the database and we're going to double colon and all we need to have all the projects in a projects variable okay we need to parse all the thing that we have in the database and we're going to store it into the projects variable now we have all the projects that we need now we need to return the view why are we going to show this we need to go to the admin projects page and go to the index page and this page is this index page that we just created the table so save it so one more thing you need to do is to write a compact so compact is passing the all the context of the all this data that you get from the database and pass those in this play page okay admin project dot index dot blade dot php this page so pass these variables which is projects okay we just passed all those variables to this page and in the index now we need to create URL. So we need to go to the web.php and here you can copy any of them. So this will be just a simple get. So admin projects.index. If you go to that index page, we're gonna go to index function and this index function is this index function, okay? So when you go to this index function, when you trigger that, if you need to need to go to that URL project slash index, then it will trigger index function and show us all the information from the database of all the projects. So it should be admin.projects.index. So previously it was stored for storing the information from the database and create for giving us the create form so that we can upload information. And this one is for showing the information in a table.format. Okay. So we're gonna this is for get because we are getting all the information from the database not posting anything this is just a simple get as you can see it's just a simple query so we need to show all the information in a very nice format here so we need we just passed what passed we we just passed projects okay we just passed the projects and here we need to write a for each loop here here in the table you can write it within this table and let's go so for each if you write for each like that okay so it's perfect so make sure it's outside of this tr and just copy this here and alignment is so important because it makes your code more readable and you can understand what's going on there so within this tr we're going to follow every single information so collection so our collection name is projects the, the, that this is the thing that we passed so we're gonna and this is the thing as individual project okay so we're gonna query every single projects from the database and passing it as a single project and as a single object this is actually the single object and we query every single project from the database and I'm gonna this is the simple single project object that we had all the attribute that we need in a for loop and then we can see all the information okay so this is the object and this object has all the attributes like id title thumbnail github link video link and all the thing that you need so we can parse it out here so first we need it id so double curry braces and then to write project sorry it is small 
project and we're gonna access this variable access this attribute using this arrow okay in the laravel but in django it is a little bit of different but this is just a normal laravel thing and we need the id okay then you can just copy the same thing here and paste it here paste it multiple times very simple very easy guys just keep your mind cool and it would be done instantly okay this may delete and this should be title um, and description so we have id title description then we have thumbnail And remember guys this attribute name should be exactly like this otherwise it will not work because these are the main attribute of this object okay and we need that after thumbnail we need that github link sorry guys my keyboard is not that good so it's really difficult to write and it is pretty old and then we need skills so github link is done youtube link is done skills and then we need created it and updated it and for this we need to use some diff for humans okay so we can go to our google and we need to know diff for humans in laravel just search for it diff for humans because we don't want to show the huge number of uh, date and time we just want to make it really good for the eyes as you can see we need to write diff for humans if you write diff for humans the date field would be looking really really good so we need to pass it here it's uh, very simple and within that project created at you're gonna write one more this arrow and you just to write diff for humans diff for humans as you can see you just add it like that project created it and diff for humans so it's perfect and then we're gonna write updated at and in the arrow we're gonna write diff for humans you can copy the same thing diff for humans you need to write the exact way that i write so within this uh, table row we're gonna for loop and get all those information from our database as you can see project id project oh we did it two times project id title description thumbnail and github youtube all the thing and make sure this thing that you see is an image field okay so we need to change it out this should be image field and image should have a source and this source should be go to project and thumbnail okay project thumbnail okay so i think it will work in the images you will show the project thumbnail in the image tag and the title you have title and have the description the thumbnail is done i think one more thing is left one which is skills okay so paste it out here and we need all the skills okay so all the thing that we need is added here so all the thing that we need to parse from the database and show into our table format is done okay so let's check it out uh, how it's gonna work let's go and we're gonna go to admin project slash index page as you can see we have our id title description thumbnail git this is our github link this is our youtube link this is uh, skills and this is created it and updated it this is all the skills that we wrote this is thing uh, so id title thumbnail github link youtube link all the things that we need uh, in the database we how we have it one two three four five six seven eight nine okay one two three four five six seven eight nine we need one more thing guys which is category because category is also very important so first id title and after the title we need a category okay so this should be our category So this should be our category and after the title we need to have a category 
and this is where the relationship very connects really perfectly because how can we go to the category table from the project because we already connected that in the model okay so we connected in the model in the previous video just check it out if you don't understand i talked about really really briefly about it so go to the project and go to its category because project has a category field and in the category also we have a name okay so connect it with the category table with the projects table and the, we just need the category name of that okay so this is important so i will want to show you a little bit more so if you go to the projects as you can see we have a category if we didn't add and this category belongs so this project belongs to this category so that's why we are able to write that thing otherwise you couldn't write projects category name okay so this is one of the main important thing if we save it and go there as you can see we have a category laravel super cool but now we need to work with the images so our image is not coming from the database okay so we need to solve that we need to write images slash this routing okay so i think it will work fine we're gonna write slash images slash the image name dynamic image name so let me see check it out okay it's working very perfectly but the image is super big so you can't make this image so high so we're gonna style it and make it give it a simple height height of suppose 100 pixel 100 pixel and width of width of 150 pixel okay so we're gonna set height and width pixels okay let's save it out and let's check okay now we have height weight is set the image thumbnail is set because we in the style segment we just set height is equals to 100 which is white is equal to 150 let's give it a height 150 and width 200 i think it will look better okay so save it out okay now this uh this looks really really cool and the all the bootstrap thing is working perfectly if you add one more index pages one more information field it will be added there so I hope you like this video and thumbs up and like as much as possible so that I can get a lot of subscribers and a lot of support from you guys because I'm working really really hard in this project so I need your support to get forward okay so this was the part two and showing all the information from the database that we uploaded into our table format in the html pages of our index this is admin index pages so that's all for it guys i hope you like the video so stay tuned for the next part we're gonna show you more and more awesome stuff so thanks for watching and